Under Biden, we have not one but two immigration disasters. We have one on the border, and we have one in the Biden State Department, which is admitting colossal amounts of jihadists into our communities and campuses and our refugee programs. That's why you see all of these big demonstrations in New York, in Chicago. Nobody can believe what's taking place. They're letting them in at levels that nobody's ever seen before. We cannot allow that to happen, and we don't want to be like Europe with jihads on every corner. That's what happens. I mean, we're going to have, we're going to be like Europe. You take a look at London, you take a look at Paris, you take a look at what's going on over there. We want to be the United States of America and we want to make our country great again. Right now, we don't have a great country. We have a laughing stock. As president, I will end once and for all the mass importation of anti-Semitism into the United States. And just as I did before, we will keep radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country. We're going to keep them out of our country. We were keeping them out. We were keeping them out. You remember the travel ban on day one. I will restore our travel ban. We had a travel ban because we didn't want people coming into our country who really love the idea of blowing, blowing our country up. Let's blow up our streets and our shopping centers and our people. So I instituted what we call the Trump travel ban, and it was a, uh, an amazing success. It was suspended immediately upon his coming into the country. And I never talked about this for four years. I never mentioned it. We didn't have one incident in four years because we kept bad people the hell out of our country. We kept them out. We didn't have one, not one instance. I didn't want to say it during the four years because I didn't want to walk out of the speech and have something happen, right? I'll also be implementing strong ideological screenings for all immigrants coming in. If you hate America, if you want to abolish Israel, if you sympathize with jihadists, then we don't want you in our country, and you're not going to be getting into our country. I will cancel the student visas of Hamas and sympathizers on college campuses. The college campuses are being taken over. And all of the resident aliens who joined in the pro-jihadist protest this month, nobody's ever seen anything like it. Come 2025, we will find you and we will deport you. We will deport you. That's caused by some very bad troublemakers, those uh, events that you've been watching. In the past three weeks, crooked Joe Biden has turned a blind eye to the greatest outbreak of anti-Semitism in American history. You have the greatest. I call up friends of mine who happen to be Jewish. I say, are you watching what's going on? And they're actually frightened. And these are some pretty strong people. They're tough people. They're frightened. Their kids are afraid to go to school. And they never had that before. But in our colleges, media, and even government, Nobody's ever seen anything like Rashida Talib and Ilan Omar, who openly campaign against Israel. Nobody's ever seen this before. When asked recently about rising anti-Semitic hate, Joe Biden's own press secretary had nothing to say about the rabid mobs in the street. And they're shouting, kill the Jews, kill the Jews. And she had nothing to say. In fact, she stuck up for the other side. She started talking about the other side. You all saw it. Nobody could believe it. Then she came back later. She said, oh, I misunderstood the question. As president, I will absolutely protect our Jewish citizens from these maniacs, lunatics, radical left thugs. Threats or crimes of violence against Jews will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Right now, they go after Republicans, including me. They go after lots of people. They go after Catholics. I don't know what it is with the Catholics, but they're really after the Catholics, and they're after people wanting to make their school district better. This is a strange thing that's happening in our country. While in office, I took the strongest action of any president in history to combat the vile scourge of anti-Semitism. You know that. I signed a landmark executive order fighting anti-Semitic hate on college campuses and affirming that discrimination against Jewish students will be aggressively punished as a violation of civil rights. And that, we didn't have that, if you can believe. When I get back into office, I will put every single university and college president on notice. The American taxpayer will not subsidize the creation of terrorist sympathizers on American soil. 
Colleges and universities will purge the anti-Semitism and pro-terrorism. Ter uh, what, what you're doing, the terrorism, this pro-terrorism is so out of control. Nobody's ever seen or they will lose their accreditation and every last penny of federal student loans. It will not be paid to them, probably shouldn't be paid to them anyway. Never forget the same radicals tearing down posters of Israeli hostages. Can you imagine at our university ripping them right off the wall? I couldn't believe it. Are the ones tearing down statues of our American heroes, defunding our police, destroying our justice system, and demolishing our borders. These are the same people that you have. Same people, not good people for us. The United States and Israel represent the pinnacle of Western civilization, which is exactly what these people want to destroy. They want to destroy it. This is why those who chant death to Israel also chant always death to America. Do you ever notice they always put them together? And that's why American patriots and supporters of Israel, and you have tremendous support in this country, I can tell you that, must stick together. Come hell or high water, you have to stick together. We must have strong borders, strong military, strong families, strong cultures, and above all, we must have a strong American president. That's where it starts. You don't have a strong president. The rest is just words. It's only words. It's only words. You never had any of these problems. For four years, you didn't have any of these problems. Think of it. You wouldn't have Ukraine. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have Israel being attacked. You wouldn't have inflation. You wouldn't have anything. You'd have, you'd have gasoline selling at $1.87. With your vote, I will defeat the jihadists, the terrorists, the communists, the Marxists, the fascists, and the anti-Semitic radical left lunatics. And we have plenty of them. We have a lot more. They're just pouring into our country. You know, the same people that attacked Israel are coming into our country. And there are a lot of them that are young, strong men. And they're coming in. They're 21 and 22 and 23 and 24 years old. And they're strong. And I watched some of the fake news media saying, oh, so many strong men. Oh, that's wonderful. There's a reason. And you know where they're coming in from also? Slightly different all over the Middle East, but where they're coming in from? A lot coming in from China. What's that all about? We have a lot of young, strong men coming in from China. I wonder what that's all about. I will defend our friend and ally, the state of Israel, like nobody has ever defended it before. I will rescue the American economy. I will restore America's borders, which are a disaster. I will stand up for American sovereignty, and I will save American freedom starting on November 5th, 2024. Get out and vote. And I just want to say, and I say it so strongly, this is the most important election in the history of our country. I used to say that on 2016. This is the most important election, and I meant it fully. But now I can tell you, you know, we made the border so strong, I couldn't even talk about it in 2020. Sir, don't talk about the borders. In 2016, it was all about the borders, and we did an unbelievable job. So when we came back to 2020, I couldn't even talk about them. People would say, sir, nobody cares about the borders. You know why? Because we had strong borders. Now we have the weakest borders we've ever had. I'll do it again, and we'll do it fast, and we're going to make it strong. But what we have to do is we have to get out and vote. This is the most important election in the history of our country, because if we don't win this election, I really believe you're not going to have Israel anymore, and you're not going to have the United States of America anymore. Get out and vote. 2024 is the most important election in the history of our country. Thank you. I love you. Make America great again. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.